what everybody needs to know about sketching and Fusion 360 coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck, taking you through this Fusion 360 series on sketching. We'll start with the golden rule, the thing that everybody needs to know. If you're just getting started, hit that subscribe button. I'll be releasing a weekly video on the Fusion platform. Post a question down below. If you've got a question on sketching, hit me up. Okay, the three things you have to know before you get started with any sketch. All right, so what you gotta do is select a plane before you sketch. And this is just a better workflow. It's gonna make it easier. So if I sketch on the bottom plane, I then can create, I can give it depth. I can sketch, give it the dimensions that I need. Boom, extruded, done. Terrible example. <laughs> Showing it in Fusion, I begin by turning on the origin, making sure I can see my planes. I'm gonna select the plane, start the sketch, extrude everything. All right, so before I even get started with my sketch, great practice, hit the save button. That enables the auto save command to kick in. If you are working with components, now would be a great time to activate the component you're working. Sketching, I select the plane. A couple ways to do this, right click, create sketch, select it, hit any shortcut that starts a sketch, or just go up to the sketch button. Okay, I'm gonna sketch a rectangle. I'll drop on a couple circles, and then I extrude. Pretty simple. The steps are, And why does this workflow matter? Many times I've been in a sketch working on a plane I wasn't aware of, but when I select that, that face, it goes normal to the object itself, and then I can extrude it. And for years of teaching beginners, I just found that people did much better when they had a workflow. They always selected the plane or the face they needed first, and then they started working, as opposed to just starting to sketch circles and shapes and not even knowing where they were. Number two, let's talk about dimensioning in your sketches, getting fully defined sketches with dimensions, then relationships and constraints. But let's do dimensions first. So back to our rectangle concept, if I had you dimension everything, and in fact, let's make both of these circles equal. We give it a diameter, we dimension to the edge. So I'm curious, is this a fully defined sketch? Is it done? When I try to drag anything, nothing moves. One thing I forgot to do in my preferences, I like to turn on this sketch geometry based on constraints. Let me explain that. But now with it turned on, when I look, everything is black. No more blue, giant blue entities. The blue means it still could move around. Black means it's locked down, it's defined. So this is great, I've got a visual. But the real question is, did we define it correctly? Is this correct? Or is this one? Or this one? You can bet this just goes on and on, but what's the correct way of doing it? Well, the real answer is they're all correct. It's just what do you plan on changing in the future or how are you planning on fabricating it? So in this example, if it's crucial, that I'd be able to drive the holes off of each other, then this dimension in the center, this distance between centered holes is 
pretty important. Okay, thanks for watching. Check out the next video. I'm gonna get into some more advanced tips for moving faster in your sketches. Thanks.